Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us draw a perceptron for R guys. So basically, I think everyone has uh, attended the lecture on AND gate, right? Yes, so if you haven't, please watch it that video and come back guys because I'll be taking this problem a bit fast guys because I don't want to waste your time right yes so that's the reason why let us solve it a bit faster now as we know the concept and the tricks how you how to solve it right yes so basically you will be starting with the R gate so basically what is the first weight given that is 0.6 what is the second weight given that is 0.6 okay so they gave the same weights what is the threshold they gave that is a 1 what is the learning fun learning rate they gave 0.5 okay yes so let us start Okay, so first of all, the first thing what I told you need to draw your R gate values, right? So it's 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So it is 0, 1, 1, 1, right? Yes. So initially you will be starting with a 0 into 0. So I'll be directly writing them step by step, guys. So 0, 0 0.6 into 0 is equals to 0, 0 0.6 into 0 is equals to 0, and at the end the result is 0, which is matching. Continue. So 0 0.6 0 into 0 0.6 0 0 0.6 into 1 which is 0 0.6 which is 0 0.6 but we need 1 here it ended up with a 0 but we need 1 so hence we have failed in the second case itself okay so let us find out the value so w1 is equals to you take the same weight 1 0 0.6 plus what is our learning function that is 0.5 into what is our target value which is 1 what are we getting that is a 0 what is our uh, input of w1 so it is 0 so at the end we ended up again at 0 0.6 only similarly do for 0 point weight 2 that is also 0 0.6 0 0.5 which is a 1 minus 0 and our input is 1 which is indirectly increases your value to 1.1 guys right yes so 6 plus 1 is 11 so 1.1 okay yes so now your new weights are w1 is equals to 0 0.6 and w2 is equals to 1.1 so let us redraw the table again because I don't want to get confused or I don't want to confuse it. So that's the reason why I'm redrawing the table, guys. Okay, yes. So let us start. So 0, 0 plus 0 is equals to 0. Matched. 0 plus 1.1 1 .1 is equals to 1.1, 1 .1, which is indirectly equals to 1. And it is also passed now. Wow. So 0 0.6 plus 0 is equals to 0 0.6. We are getting 0, but we need 1. Hence, again, it has been failed. So, again, we need to do the same method. So, W1 is equals to what is our current weight 0 0.6. What is the activation, sorry, what is the learning value that is 0 0.5. And what is our expected output. So, we need 1, but we are getting 0. Okay. So, what is the input? So, we are giving 1. So, what it will become? It will become again 1.1. 1 .1. Wow. So W2 is 0. Point, sorry, it's 1.1, 1 .1, right? So 1.1 1 .1 plus 0. 0.5 minus 1 minus 0 into 0. So it indirectly becomes 1.1 1 .1 only. So now both the weights are at 1.1. 1 .1. Wow, that sounds really good, right? W2 is equals to 1.1. 1 .1. Okay. So let us continue. So again, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So again, start multiplying. 0 plus 0 is equals to 0, which is satisfied. Uh, 0 plus 1.1, 1 .1, which is 1.1, 1 .1, which is indirectly equals to 1, which is satisfied. So basically, here also threshold is 1, guys. So whenever it is greater than or equal to 1, we'll be giving the result as 1. If it is less than 1, we'll be giving it as 0. Got it? Yes. So I think everyone attended the last lecture, right? So that's the reason why I'm doing a bit fast. So here again, it will be 0. It is 1.1 1 .1, that is equals to 1, which is also satisfied. So again, 1.1 1 .1 plus 1.1. 1 .1. Wow. Here we got 2.2. Wow. It's also greater than 1, which is also satisfied. So we got the exact result. So your perceptron will be looking in this way. So basically, you will be having 1.1, 1.1, 1 .1, 1 .1, here A, here B, your perceptron, that is nothing but adding and your activation function, sorry, your value is at 1, that is nothing but your threshold and you'll be getting the output. Got it? Yes. So in the book, it is written step by step, guys. I have I have went a bit fast. I do know that because I don't want to waste your time because if the video is again six to seven minutes, what are you going to learn? Because you watched the previous lecture, right? So why to waste your time? Okay. Yes. So the same method I have written step by step in the notes. Guys. So basically you'll be checking the condition and remember the formula, guys. Please don't forget the formula and do some silly mistakes. Okay. So W I is your particular weight. N is nothing but your learning rate. T is your expected output. O is your current output. And XI is your input. So whatever input you are giving that. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I think I, I told it correctly, right? So let me cross check and let me revise it again for you guys because I don't want to say wrong way. So this is learning and T is the target output. O is the what output you are getting XI. Okay. So I told it correctly. Only. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea on this. So in the next lecture, let us go through the concept of linear separability guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.